بعد الإشارة، بعد الإشارة. So uh, a couple of years ago, when I started Amma Hope, um, sebenarnya, um, the whole intention was after I graduated in my Islamic studies, um, my intention was really about supporting um, um, a couple of other me a, a couple of different mediums. Contohnya, um, uh, we started organizing a lot of free halakah ataupun social circle events for women, especially mula-mula. Sebabnya. Um, I noticed at, at that point, um, a lot of women in the country were in need, ataupun in dire straits of, um, you know, um, social support, ataupun sokongan dan dukungan emosi juga. So we created educational um, events and as well as uh, more like therapy events for uh, these women and as well as children. Um, so I was supported by a lot of um, scholars back then in order to actually support the course. So um, the course was also to give free educational events, much like, um, uh, you know, courses that were available out there in terms of increasing knowledge for uh, people who were eager to learn a lot of things that they never got. And along the way, sebab sebenarnya sebelum tu, uh, I have already um, uh, got myself involved in a lot of charity events, uh, which I I was on my individual purpose, um, ataupun mission where I would just uh, collaborate and work along with people that I knew at that time. So, Kita bukan sahaja melakukan projek based on okay emergency situation we go send the money we send the food we go there we see what's happening we show pictures tak kita melalu kita melakukan proses proses yang tertentu which is there is a recovery process what happens after year by year month by month uh, usually it's a yearly project lah so macam kita tengok um, lepas mereka ditimpa bencana alam tu hancur segala bagainya apa kita nak lakukan seterusnya takkan kita nak salurkan makanan dan duit sahaja kan mereka perlukan um, satu infrastruktur atau pembangunan yang baru so kita melakukan um, benda-benda yang lain, lain lah seperti you know we go over there the last time before covid we managed to go over there again and actually help the villagers in terms of build their lives again macam how do we help them build their lives in terms of finances macam mana kita nak educate orang memakai social media macam mana dia nak buat membuat penjualan When it 
when it comes to um, the finances part macam when you talk about foreign projects macam tu kan kalau saya berkolaborasi saya lebih rasa senang dan selamat bila saya bekerja dengan my partners because they are more well experienced and they can protect a lot of things for us yang on the smaller NGO so uh, how does it work is usually they will give us a link a link Um, and then we would be able to put that on our platforms for people to do a direct transfer to uh, kata the the partnering NGOs and then everything will be done by them um, Kakak ni dia kurang paya uh, di mana dia kena berjalan dengan dia punya tangan dan lutut dia dan juga menjaga seorang anak uh, bukan anak dia sendiri tapi telah merelakan diri untuk menjaga anak yang kurang payah juga yang mempunyai cerebral palsy so, hari ini kita juga memberikan dia sepasang telekom, buku doa dan juga makanan seperti yang biasa kami buat dalam food pack um, untuk memudahkanlah um, kehidupan seharian dan insyaAllah based on um, you know uh, public donations and there are times when we are lucky um, kadang-kadang we do get support from big organizations like before dulu masa I first started when I went to uh, sort out the Syrian refugees pun we got Zakat Selangor to support us tak adalah orang kata it's not like bombastic tapi yeah. I we we are we are working on like I said we go with whatever that comes kita tidak mempunyai grant kita tidak mempunyai funders and like I said I think for bigger NGOs, they might have stronger connections and more corporate connections. In our side, we, that is what we, that is what was planned for us last year. Tapi now we cannot do much, and then um, I think we have to put all our plans for you know since two years back after COVID, then baru kita fokus. But even now, pun kita tak intend to go macam so so big or so so tama in terms of projects. Kita just go with the flow je. They just go with the flow, apa yang boleh, apa yang mampu, itulah yang kita lakukan. Because I think in terms of like, because my team is a very, very small team and we're all very macam, uh, orang kata, um, flexible, uh, working flexible, uh, comfortably from our own homes. getting public donation kita self fund juga so i self fund whatever that i have from my own personal savings dan juga um, our product so we used to sell t-shirts caps uh, so that's how we help to generate jugalah apa yang kita boleh um, jual kita masukkan balik so apa yang saya ada saya masukkan juga uh, macam tu so i guess that's pretty normal but i think that is what can help so we put a kind of branding to people buying our product understanding what we are and in terms of supporting our NGO juga Assalamu alaikum guys my name is Tukir Tok Sharif and I'm here in Syria with the live updates from Syria team We would always continuously update through our uh, social media they know if if they are donating macam ni tau macam kadang-kadang orang memberi dana tu kadang-kadang kalau kita tengok okey dia masuk macam tu tanpa projek tanpa apa sebab people dah tahu dah we are doing running projects kan so kalau we are running the projects they definitely know that okey ini memang tertumpu kepada Gaza so uh, they know how we're doing it and how it's going and who we're working because usually kita memang akan war-war and bagi details dekat situ kita memang akan share so I think so far Uh, Alhamdulillah, we have probably the same repeated followers that have been supporting us. Tapi kalau diorang tanya, we are we are okay to share because there's nothing much, you know, to really not share about. Memang actually usually for our projects ni banyak sangat risiko sebenarnya um, Banyak lah to be honest especially kalau kita keluar Okay so uh, today our first day kita orang sekarang tengah nak beli barang Basically macam food bag uh, Untuk food 
bantuan sembako uh, untuk rakyat di Lombok ini. Ada dalam tu ada beras, dalam tu ada gula, dalam tu ada ikan masin. Kita akan bawa pergi ke center tempat kita packing. Situ kerja dia panjang sikit, dan baru kita hantar perjalanan. And then kalau kita buat benda-benda yang berkaitan dengan bencana alam, kita risiko daripada keselamatan sebab uh, beberapa kali every time kita ke Lombok tu kita dah akan sentiasa berada dalam earthquake punya experience. Masyarakat kena memberikan banyak faith lah kepada NGOs dan I think most of the NGOs can be trusted. Um, that's why Tasha cakap Tasha sangat kecil dan Tasha uh, lebih orang kata um, uh, comfortable kerja sama dengan uh, big NGOs where they will protect us as the small NGOs. So they will give us the right channels, how to find the money um, directly to them and apa-apa pun is under tanggungan diorang juga. So I just hope that orang kata Amal um, Hope dapatlah capai sikit misi-misi kita Kita dapat build the structure bagi um, Lakukan apa yang boleh in the next couple of years After this COVID-19 is over Alhamdulillah, I'm quite happy to see that you know uh, food banks are being set up by people who don't even have NGOs. So like I said, that is a good step. Maknanya, orang memang dah in touch dengan emosi mereka dan tahu nak membantu. So, you don't need an NGO to become a person to help. You can be a person individually. Like, I started something individually but I felt that I could use Amal Hoop as a platform to move to be bigger. That's why I built Amal Hoop. I mean, I could choose not to have it, but I chose it just that so that people will notice our whole mission and concept. Can. Okay?